In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the correct reverb and delay times. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. Consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. I'm sure some of you probably know how to do this, but I'm just going to go through for the sake of those that do not know. Maybe just stick around. You might learn one or two things that you may not know. So our final product is going to sound something like this. I've soloed the vocal right here. The beat is off. So let's just listen to what it will sound like once we are done with the settings. Hey, love don't cost a thing. Yeah, 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 love don't cost a thing. You make a G-boy fall in love. Love don't cost a thing. I say love don't cost a thing. Give me your love. So let me now show you how to calculate the reverb times and delay that will take you to this product right here. So first start by calculating the delay time and we're going to use that delay time to calculate for the reverb time. I'll just go to my lead vocal group channel right here, switch off the reverb for now and bring my delay here. You can use whichever delay that you want to use. The parameters are basically the same. So I've set it back to default. If I play this, hey, love don't cost a thing. Hey, love don't cost a thing. Yeah. All right, so that's what we have right there. So what we we'll do here is I'll remove it from sync since we are calculating for the actual value. So firstly, you need to know the BPM of your song, which is just the BPM of your beat. For me right here, it's 95.5. What I'll do is pull up a calculator here and just say 60,000 divided by 95.5. And what I have here is 628. So I'm going to get this 628 and put it here. If I play this, so the delay is in time now, but the issue that we have is the feedback and the mix. So what I'm going to do is just take my mix down here to somewhere around 6% and my feedback all the way down here. This is how many times the delay repeats. So if I play this, all right guys so once we've set the delay time what we can do is go to the reverb so i'll just switch on the reverb here when we come to this reverb right here so in order to set the correct reverb time what you need to do is get the same value that you found for your delay this value is in milliseconds but if you look at my reverb plugin here this is in seconds so in order for me to get the value of that delay in seconds, I'll need to multiply that that value of the delay time by two until I get it to somewhere in the thousands. So I'll multiply this by two. So I now get 1,256. So my 1,256 will be 1.56 because that value is in milliseconds and now here these are seconds. So if I play this, Hey, hey, love don't cause a love thing. Cause yeah, thing. yeah, 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 love don't cause a thing. You make a G boy fall in love. So you can notice from here that this only gives you a little amount of decay. But if you want it to be wide enough, you can multiply this value by two again. So I'll just multiply it by two. It gives me that I feel like I should multiply it by two again so that I get wider decay time 5.026. So now this is my decay time. If I play this again, hey, hey love don't cause a thing. So this is wide enough. How do I set my pre delay? This is in milliseconds. What I need to do is take this value back to milliseconds, just divide it by four, divide it by four divided by four divided by four so what the pre-delay is is just the time it takes for the reverb to come in after the actual vocal has played so in this case you would want a little bit of a faster pre-delay so that's the reason why i've reduced it further and it's now somewhere around 19.6 milliseconds so if i come here i'll just set 19.6 milliseconds here which is just the same as 
20 milliseconds if you round it off. If I play this, hey, love don't cause the thing. Yeah, 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 love don't cause the thing. You make a G boy fall in love. Love don't cause the thing. So this now is the correct delay time and the correct reverb time. So if I play this together with the beat, hey, love don't cause the thing. Yeah, 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 love don't cause the thing. You make a G boy fall in love. Love don't cause the thing. I say love don't cause the thing. Give me your love. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram at jthemg and let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.